We are covering Colorado first at six tonight. Mountain lions are on the prowl across our state. In some cases, they have been going after pets. Now, back in November, we told you about a cougar that killed a dog in Evergreen. Now we know about an attack on the western slope. This time, the dog survived. Our Matt Croshaw reporting in from our mountain newsroom talked to the dog's owner. So, Matt, why are we seeing all these close encounters? Well, wildlife managers tell us that the big cats are following their favorite prey, that's deer and elk, out of the high country, down into these neighborhoods where they're running across pets like Noah here in the backyard. And Noah, well, he's a nice dog, but he's no match for a big cat. And that's what we're seeing in Glenwood Springs right now. Kirby Wynn can still play fetch with his best friend Oscar after a recent close call with a big cat nearly ended this friendship. And my wife and I both simultaneously saw this flash of fur and heard our dog shrieking. And so we just came flying out the door. It was unlocked and just came, came out yelling, thinking it would be like a dog attacking our dog, but it was a lion. Following the attack, neighbors in the West Glenwood subdivision began noticing more cats in the area. He has uh, some punctures on the top of his head and underneath his jaw. And when we came flying out here, I mean, the whole thing's sort of a blur, but the lion had him down and had his mouth on him and had his claws on him. He just kind of had him covered. Game cam video nearby shows four cats traveling in a pack. Parks and wildlife officers set traps captured two lions and both were euthanized. Wildlife managers citing public safety as a reason. We'd seen one other lion a few years ago just kind of walking by and we know that they're here and we welcome that and that's fine. Uh, the issue was that when I got to the door and I was yelling and the lion didn't just jump up and run away and I had to literally go like within a foot of it to like try to kick it off of my dog or something that only then did it run off, and that was the concern. Living in lion country comes with responsibility. I like lions, I like all wildlife. Something Wynn knows well. I think they're a little too acclimated. Some of them are just a little too comfortable. He's just glad he still has his best friend, while others haven't been so lucky. Yeah, a leash, even in the backyard, if you let your pet out to uh, use the restroom, is a good thing to have on hand. Listen, they say another big problem that they're encountering is that people are feeding the wildlife deer and elk. They're feeding them in their backyards, and because that prey is around and comfortable near these homes, we're seeing the predators also move into these areas. So we are all responsible since we live in lion country, and that is the message that Parks and Wildlife wants people to hear tonight. We are live in the high country. Matt Croshill covering Colorado first. Always a good reminder. Thank you, Matt.